Well, I'm on Face of Mars, and this is a Religion of Pieces update. In Berlin, they're now chasing a Tunisian man. After finding his document, finding identity document in the truck that slammed into a crowd of Christmas shoppers, killing 12 of them and injuring 48. Now, originally we were told the slime was from Pakistan. Now they're saying he's from Tunisia. Uh, that's very interesting. And, of course, he left his ID behind. Now, where have we heard this shucking and jiving before? German police are searching for a Tunisian man known as Anis Amri in connection with a deadly truck attack on the crowd in the Berlin Christmas market that killed 12. The man is aged 21 or 23 and is known by different names. In the daily egg, not going to happen. Uh, Zeitung and build newspapers. Both the asylum office, both said the asylum office papers believed to be belong to a man who were found in the cabin truck. Documents which announced the state of deportation, which were found on the driver's seat of 40 ton lorry that 40 ton. That barreled through the Christmas market in the heart of German capital. Police were reportedly searching for a suspect who was born in southern Tunisia, Tatooine, in the western state of North Rhine, Westphalia. Twelve people were killed in what German authorities called a terrorist attack in Berlin late Monday, including Polish driver of the truck. 24 remain in the hospital, 14 of whom were seriously injured. Scenes instantly revived nightmarish memories of July 14 truck assault in French Riviera city of Nice, or as they pronounce it, Nice, where 86 people were killed by Tunisian Islamicist. Let's try Islamic soldier. The ISIS-linked AMAC news agency said a soldier of the Islamic State carried out Berlin carnage in response to the appeal to target citizens of coalition company, countries. There's no evidence back claim, nor was perp found. But we are told, okay, Tunisia is one of the biggest suppliers of jihadi fires with some 5,500 of its nationals believed to be involved in combat in Syria, Iraq, and Libya. German police on Wednesday stepped up their hunt from driver and truck. An earlier suspected suspect, a 23-year-old Pakistan, Pakistani asylum seeker, was released late Tuesday for lack of evidence prompting fears of a killer on loose and further rattling nerves in a shot country. So they let him go. You know, they probably found him right in the truck. The attack comes in a sense of time for Chancellor Angela Merkel, who's running uh, for her fourth term in 2017, but has faced strong criticism over criticism over decision last year to open the country's borders to refugees. Angela Merkel is fine Doomkopf. <sighs> Images from the aftermath of the rampage showed a mangled truck with its white windscreen smashed, trailed destruction this week, while survivors recount harrowing stories of near misses and bloody carnage. Polish man killed by a gunshot was found in the truck passenger's seat. He was believed to be the original driver of a Polish registered vehicle. Well, this whole thing reeks of some kind of a cover up. Uh. 
where in the hell would you find this guy's documents under the seat of a blasted semi? Does anybody out there uh, actually believe this? This is horse dung. It's German's problem, but, uh... There's something else going on here. That's just, that's just funny baloney. He won't stick his papers underneath the seat of the truck. That's insane. Don't believe it. Fake news in the story. Something is going on here. Well, it's not in the story, but it is fake news. I'm out of facts tomorrow. Thanks for watching.